Today we start a new section on Harkis CGTV. This section we're going to call the changing room. That's locker room to my American cousins. In the changing room we're going to look at things like football tops, football boots, shin guards, uh, anything basically that revolves around football kits and football merchandise. That way we can promote football from across Southeast Asia and Asia and look at some of the amazing detail that we have in football kits in Southeast Asia compared to the rest of the world. So we're going to do a little bit of a unboxing. Today I thought we'd start with a Vietnamese football team. We're going to go through each one of these kits and we're going to say whether we like them or not. I'm going to give them a red card if I don't and I'm probably just going to give them a thumbs up or something if I do like them. Let me know down in the comments if you can come up with a better idea for me to say that something's really good. Red card for no, but what should we use to say that we like it? Let us know down below in the comments. Remember to hang around straight until the end. Why would you go anywhere anyway? What's wrong with you? Just to find out if it gets a red card or if it gets a thumbs up. Stay until the end to find out. So let's just get straight into it, start unboxing it and see what we think of the kit. What I should say right from the beginning is this is actually the, the away kit. So this isn't actually the home kit but I will still be trying to get a home top nonetheless. I like that Wing Kung Fung is on the, the front of this here. We've also got a Zico, the, the Thai manager as well. Uh, we've got Win Van Tung on here as well. And yeah, I like the Paluku Stadium that we've got on here. The presentation basically of the whole box is, is really, really good. So I'm enjoying this. Let's open up this box and let's see. In fact, no, wait, before we open it up, I got one little thing that kind of gets me a bit about this. I love the presentation, I love the box, but this seems to be something that we get quite a lot in Vietnamese football. And I don't want to be picky and I don't want to try and look for situations where there aren't situations, but make your own, make your own spirit. You see that? Make your own spirit. What does that mean? For me, as someone who's not Vietnamese, when I buy a Vietnamese football top, I want to see something written in Vietnamese. I want it to be Vietnamese. So why are we making things in English? Is that for the Vietnamese so they can have things in English and it looks more international to them? Or is that to appeal to a wider market? If it is to appeal to a wider market, why are we using English that says make your own spirit? Are we making drinks? Or like, uh, am I going to kill myself and turn myself into a ghost? Uh, what, what, is, what is this even supposed to mean? It doesn't mean anything in English. It makes no sense. So if you, maybe, my Vietnamese isn't wonderful. It's okay. It's not great. Maybe if you translate this into Vietnamese it makes more sense so to me it makes more sense have it in Vietnamese just a crazy idea right but yeah other than that I love the presentation I love the box I love the Wuhan uh, badge here on the back Mizuno everything it's all all very nice so let's open it up and see what it's like inside okay now we get to the kit itself look at this look at this I'm loving this right Sponsored by Red Bull. I like the, let, let's go to the badge first, right? So the badge is a nice material, nice cotton material, embroidered, looks really good. Um, I don't know how much, how well I can put that up to the camera. That does look really, really good. I like this. Obviously, I like the fact we've got this label here, so it's real. Um, I love, I love all the, I, I like the logos. There's not too many logos on it. We've got the, the league logo here on the sleeve. The league logo there. Sorry, I'm looking up here. The league logo here. We've got everything across the back. So, yeah, I like underneath, this, underneath the arms as well. Got a little bit of uh, breathability there as well. I like that. That's nice. The material itself is thin, like a thin cotton. Don't know if you can see that there. Um... There's not actually any pattern on, there's no pattern on it itself. There is some shapes, but it's not too much, it's not too little. I think for me, for me anyway, 
It's just about right. I like that. Uh, I think Mizuno have done a good job with this. Um, I like I like here the little badge and the official jersey badge on the back on, on here. Obviously, I don't know how long this will last for before it begins to wear off and crack, and uh, I probably won't be wearing it a lot. But uh, definitely a keeper and a really nice top to have. So yeah, I'm. I'm gonna say that I like this top. I don't think it's anything amazing. I don't think it massively jumps out as a stunning kit. I don't think there's anything, um, how would I say? I don't think there's anything groundbreaking in it. I don't think there's anything that makes it massively stand out from everybody else, but Wohanjulai, the club that Wohanjulai are, are already a massive club and they're going to do really well in the league anyway they have a great manager so i don't think their kit is what's massively important to them or their fans maybe i'm wrong let me know down below in the comments but i think collectively it's it's a nice kit it's a nice top i like it um i'm a fan uh i definitely want to buy the the home kit as well, which is white. So I will definitely be going to First Football Store. Huge shouts and thanks to the guys at First Football Store. One of the best places to get your Vietnamese football tops in Ho Chi Minh City. All the links will be down below in the description. So remember to check and get yourself down to their store. I'm not even getting paid for this. You can pay me in Café Denda. Uh-dum. So yeah, so that's my review. So what do I think? Does it get a red card because I don't like it? What should I do if I do like it? This one, I think... I'm going to give it a yellow. I give it a yellow because I'm a little bit indifferent. I don't think it's amazing, but I don't think it's bad. So I'm not giving it a red. But I'm not going to give it a thumbs up either. I love the box. I love the presentation. Minus the strange uh, English part. But... Yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments. Let me know if you enjoy this new section on Harker CG TV, the changing room. And once again, thanks for checking out Harker CG TV. Do not forget to subscribe below, like, share your friends where we support all ACN football across the world. Thanks very much. Yay!